Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today you're going to join me while I create a background um, because I have got a, um, I belong to a, um, a swap um, group and every month we do a different um, swap idea and this month is inches which are one inch by one inch squares, twinchies, which are two inch by two inch squares, and threinchies, which are three by three inch squares. So I thought I would create a piece which is going to be the, um, the, the base for it, and I want it to have all sorts of textures and things in there. So I thought that I, I started doing a little bit and I thought, mm, let's let's get you to join me. So I have got some um, structure paste and um, we sell structure paste. And what I tend to do is I've done one because it takes a little while. Um, get some reinker. This is Melon Mambo. I've got a little bit of the structure paste in there and I've got a knife. Um, you can have special knives and things for it, but I tend to use just a normal kitchen knife, which works really well. And then you just need to put a couple of drops of colour in. I think I've done about three in there. And then with the knife, you mix it up, which gives you coloured. Um, so depending on the weather, depends how quickly you have to really work with it. Um, Obviously, because you're mixing it with your base of the structure paste, it will um, go a little bit pinkier um, on this Melon Mamba, which is quite a bright colour. And I've done, the other one is in, um, I think, Starry Sky, or it might have been Orchid Oasis. I can't remember which one I picked up. But I've just done a blue and a pink because I thought, right, I'm going to have some little bits in there. So I'm going to just leave that like that for a minute. Um, as I say, it doesn't dry out too quickly. Um, you know, sometimes, depending how old it is, it can dry out a little bit quicker. But that's going to be my, um, my structure part. But I want to build up some other colours and layers and things first. So... I'm just going to leave that to one side and then I'm going to take some, um, I'm just trying to work out where to put my brush so that it doesn't make a mark on the table. Um, give me two seconds, I need to just get myself a little kitchen roll so that I don't make a mess everywhere. I've gone completely off screen and you're sitting looking at a blank screen that's what it is so that's how it's mixed hopefully did I mix it over there and you probably couldn't see it at all um, if I did apologies apologies and just flip forward on that part of the screen okay so we are going to then take I want to color this background in in all sorts of different colors and things so I'm going to take some blending brushes and let's just start with some colour. So I want some starry sky because that's quite dark and I'm literally just spreading it about. There is literally no rhyme and reason and I'm wanting these sort of circular blobby bits on here because it's it's all about just adding texture and things which is what I want so that's the starry sky and it will look a bit of a mess but that's fine because we don't mind it looking a bit of a mess to start off with because that's how we build it up so this is the Orchid Oasis, which is just a little bit of a paler blue. So that'll do on there. Then I want some, and this is where I'm going to just rub my brush in on here because I want to do some Tahitian Tide, which is that really lovely blue. So I'm going to take that 
take some of those and you can see how that gives some beautiful colors but again it is it's literally just adding color and texture on here so you know you can do these for cards and things if you want to as well i'm just doing it so that i've got some nice bright lovely background by the time i've finished Okay, now I'm going to use the polished pink because I want some pinky bits in there. Put another brush on there and I'm just going to add some bits in. But you can see I'm literally not worrying about it very much at all. These are all going to be cut down afterwards, so it's literally just building up a background in on here. So that's going to be the start of our background. Then I want to take, this is going to be, so I'm doing lots of different colours, make sure my texture paste is not drying out, I don't think it will. Now I've got some masks, now these masks um, are discontinued now, but I just quite liked the geometric sort of shapes of some of these. So I'm going to take the Parakeet Party and I want a nice sponge dauber now. And I'm just going to take some of these pieces and just sort of put them in down on here. So again, then it's not overly precise. The idea is that you just get some sort of shapes and things going on quite like this part here I'm just going to do that one um, I think I'm going to let's have a look and see what other ones I've got in here I've just literally picked up um, one of the masks we have so many different masks and I've had such a lot of them that I'm just like okay I'm just going to pick up one packet and just see what we've got this is quite nice I'm just going to put some of that on, put some of that on and that just gives some of the, um, the colours and things. Now I want to use the um, structure paste and I'm going to do that with, so I'm just taking it on to and what we need to do is you just have to just do it in quite sort of straight and flat over the top just taking that from the corner and then just smooth it out and then you can pick it up and you've got a really nice sort of little pattern thing going on in there um, I think I might just have some in on the middle here. And again, this is where you can have it as precise or as non-precise as you want. So I'm literally just, you just put it on and then just sort of take it off and then pick it up. And then you can have, for me, I want to have these bits that are broken up at the sides. All you need to do is to remember to wash it afterwards. Um, so I'm not going to do that immediately with you on here. But I'm going to take some of these ones, I think. And let's have just a bit of... Um, that's the pink. I'm going to take some of the blue now. Because I quite like the blue. And again, just take it across. I think I've got this one upside down, actually. You can feel when it's right. And I think that this is just upside down. But we'll see. Let's peel 
that off and see. That's not too bad. But you can see how you get lovely little sort of colours and textures and things like that going on. Um, I can turn it round because it doesn't really matter where I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn it and do it the other way up. That's better. I'm going to take this so that it just comes off the edge. Now let's be a bit exciting and let's mix some of the pink and the blue together. So it sort of goes in from one shade to the other and I'm just literally mixing. So you've got the two different colours coming in. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yes, that's quite fun. Okay, so I've got those on there. I think that's probably all I'm going to do on those ones for now. Because again, it's the thing of it will take a little while for it to dry. So I've got to just look on there and see how long it's going to take to dry. Because I want to do some stamping and things like that on there. And stamping in some quite bright colours and things. So... Let's have a look and see. Really doesn't matter what stamp set you use. You can use, you can use words, you can use, um, let me use, those are quite nice. I've got little hearts and things on there. So I might use some of those. Um, I've got Forever Fern, which is the beautiful leaves and things. They're quite nice. So let's have a little, and there's splots and things. So I'm just going to take some of these leaves in. These are quite large leaves. Um, I need to get a, I want to move that out of the way so that I don't have structure paste everywhere. I can just go in on there now and then I can clean that up afterwards. Right. Um, let me just get a block out and then we can see colour wise that will be quite nice I think so let's just have this one quite like that I do like the green on there I think the green looks quite nice because it's quite bright so I'm just going to ink that up I'm a little bit, I need to be a little bit more in on that side, don't I? Let's bring that over there so you can see what I'm doing. As I keep doing it so that you can't quite see it. Let's bring it over there. Okay, so this is going to be just sort of taken across. Let's just do a bit like that. That's quite nice. Um... I want to do something that's a bit, what have we got? Those hearts I think will be quite good. So let's find, that's the heart. Oh, actually, I might use, I've just thought, instead of the heart, I might use the flowers in, where's my flower one? Um, Petal Park. I do like Petal Park. So I'm going to do this, these ones, let's take that one out, I'll clean it in a minute because I'm trying to do it so that it doesn't go forever and let's do this in the polished pink for Petal Park, I think will work quite nicely. So we're going to take one in like that, that's quite good. And then I just want to take one maybe down in like that. That one like that. And there's a little space just down in the bottom there, which I'm going to just put a couple in like that. Okay, so that's those ones. Then I need to see if it's drying off or not. Yes, it is. It's drying quite nicely, which is good. 
um, I now want to add some real sort of um, splatters in on there that give lots of um, darker sort of dimension and stuff to it. So let's take those out because I say all of these are going to be cut into little ones and we'll come back this is going to be more than one video because we're already at 15 minutes so I'm going to do it in a couple um, but I want to have how did I have ones that have got speckles on I've got a few with speckly things on um, do I want, I quite like the um, texture on the sea turtle, that might work quite well, but I wanted some spots, didn't I? Have I got some spots in on here? I think I've got some spots in on this one. Um, have I got some spots? I thought there were some little spotty ones in here, but maybe it's just the side of there. Let me have a look never remember where you've got your spots until you know this is all part of the um, border on there so I know I've got quite a few with spots on give me just two seconds I'm just trying to find ones that I've got on there got nice spotty bits on because we always have something that's got a spot on and then when you're looking for them you can't find your spots can you there's always loads with spots and things on. Oh, here we go. Quiet Meadows got spots in. There's quite a few that do, but when you're looking for them, you can never find them. Can Well, I can't find them. So these spots are going to go on here and I'm going to take them in dark. So I'm taking the black memento. And I'm just adding some spots, literally right over the top of things. Because, as I said, all of this is going to be cut down. I'm just going to try and see if, yes, I can put it over the top of some of these now. Like that. That, I think, is perfect says me I'm just going to put another one in on there because I think once it once it's cut up you'll be able to see the um the little bits sort of coming together because it's all about the texture and stuff and then we'll we'll build on it and do all sorts of lovely exciting things I think I think that they will and we'll probably add some more as well to it but I think as a start that will be that will add the texture so I'm just going to check and see how dry this is I think it's reasonably dry I just want to write I'm going to try um, trimming it and we'll see we'll see how successful I am and how dry it is but I want um, so we want a three a three by three so let me take a three down like this I'll take it from the bottom okay so this is going to be our three by I think I'm going to do it on this one I think on here do I do it on that one or do I do it on this one Difficult to tell, isn't it? I think I'm going to do that one. So that's going to be my three by three. Whoops. And this is literally just doing the background. So that's my three by three. And I might actually do another three by three let's do two three by threes okay 
Okay, that can go. So those are my two three by threes. We'll have a look at them afterwards. Um, now I need a two two by twos. So the two by twos are going to come down and not have a lot of. Do they? Yes, we'll turn them around so they've got quite a bit on them. So those are going to be two by twos. That's going to be two by two. So that's one. That's two. That's quite nice because you've got that splot in on there. So that's two by twos. And then we've got one by one. So let's see if that comes in there for the one by one. And we'll put this one in here. So one by one. that way I want it with a spot in don't think I'll get two on there so that's one by one that might be it's another one by one so that's two of those that's gonna be a one by one Those are four of those. And then I've still got that piece there that I can think about afterwards. So I'm just going to put that out of the way. Take this like, turn it over. So we've got a clean piece. So we are going to be working with, that's my three by three. And I haven't worked out which which one I'm going to use. So those are two three by threes. I've got two two by twos. So these are the twinchies. So these are the twinchies. Those are the twinchies. And then these are my four. Um, one by one, inchies. So these are inchies, twinchies and thrinchies. And I will be back um for part two of this so we can now we've done the background now we can build on it and add some exciting things to it so i hope you enjoyed that as always please stay safe and well please be kind and look forward to seeing you again Bye bye <laughs>